night girls this Thursday. Sorry about last week, I was like uber confused about the days and stuff. Seems like today I'm looking back. Well, maybe I might grow up some further than my little head allows me to. Um, do I or does Dave watch sports? We don't get cable or satellite or anything like that, so we don't watch sports, um, like on TV. If we go to a sports game, the only, like, sport that we'll buy tickets for to go see are, like, hockey games. We really enjoy watching those together. Alright, as far as my ancestry and those questions, um, I don't really know if I'm related to anyone interesting because I've never had the interest in looking up my ancestry before. Um, so I'm kind of with Janelle on this whole topic. It's my favorite movies. Um, my favorite Disney movie is The Lion King. My favorite all-time movie is probably Rush Hour 2 um, and Tommy Boy. And my other like all-time favorite movies are Dances with Wolves and The Man from Snowy River and Return to Snowy River. Um, those are my favorite just because I love horses, I love the horseback riding in those, and uh, yeah, they hold a special place in my heart. So those are my all-time favorite movies. As far as TV shows, I'll pretty much watch anything. Like Dave and I really enjoy Kitchen Nightmares, Hell's Kitchen, Glee, The Office, um, Six Feet Under we recently watched. We just started Burn Notice, um, literally watched the pilot yesterday, didn't even finish it yet. Um, but we really like episodes, like Lie to Me, um, stuff like that, because we find it more enjoyable to like take a break for 35, 45 minutes and watch a TV episode versus like sitting down for two hours and watching a movie. Um, it's just easier to not sit down for as long. <laughs> so yeah, that's where I'm at with all the TV shows and movies. So I didn't really want to have a topic this week. Um, I forget who said it. I think maybe it was Janelle who said it. Um, where we were just kind of going to keep each other updated on like day to day or I guess week to week stuff. Um, I think those updates would be a little bit more interesting and maybe if we were like sick all week and didn't do a damn thing then we could pick a topic but I'd kind of be interested in more so to know like what everybody's up to. Um, so yeah, anyways, I am in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Okay, just making sure I had that right. I am, and the weather is finally gorgeous today. I've been spending all my time horseback riding. The um, horse act on the show has two horses, and they're moving up to like four or six horses eventually. And um, they're only with us for another month, so I'm trying to take as much advantage as I can and horseback ride as much as I possibly can while they're still here. So I've been really enjoying that. It's a nice, I don't know, getaway for me. Um, so. That's kind of what I've been up to, aside from traveling, getting back on the road again since being in New York for one place, well, being in one place for a while. It's nice to be back on the road, but we've had, like, tons of auto issues, so our trailer is actually getting fixed right now, and we will be without it for a month, so that's kind of interesting um, as far as how we're going to make it work without it, so yeah. Um, so Janelle, I watched the video that you put in the description part of your video, and it was like very powerful. I felt like it was, I, I'm still like, um, I guess thinking it in so much, I guess taking it in, I don't know what the right, I don't know what words I'm looking for there, but I'm still kind of like taking it all in because I just watched it before starting to film my video. So I don't have any like deeper moving thoughts quite on it or anything. I'm still just trying to be like, wow. Um, I didn't realize there was abortion survivors like that. I think that was like a really big shock to me. Um, I thought there was always a law that you could not abort past a certain time frame and I thought seven and a half months was way past that time frame. So um, obviously she talked about Bush putting in that new law and stuff so it protects that. But anyways, um, yeah, thanks for sharing that. That was really powerful and um, it made me realize that a lot of the strength that I see in you, even though I'm super far away, um, just throughout your videos and stuff and just seeing how you, um, I guess, project yourself, a lot of your strength comes from being a Christian and your belief in God. And it was kind of cool to 
realize that through watching that video because you don't necessarily always preach to us or anything like you might get known that you're Christian but you don't usually talk about God that much and it was just kind of cool to gather that from watching a video that you shared just that you get a lot of your strength and strongness of a, as a woman um, from Christ so it's cool to see that and I can't believe I just said strongness instead of strength that's why Anna Ferris would play me in a movie right there so I have one question specifically for Janelle, and that is, I was curious about what products you use on your hair, um, just because you're white blonde too, so I was wondering if you use the purple or blue shampoo, and what kind of conditioner, and all that good stuff. Um, just wondering what kind of products you use on your hair, keep it healthy-ish <laughs> for sucking the life out of it like I do. Um, also, I wanted to ask everybody, is image important to you? And you can translate that in whatever way you'd like or interpret it in any way you'd like. But I, I'm just curious overall if image is important to you. So, I apologize, but I have one more question for everybody. Um, I wanted to know everyone's thoughts on adopting versus, not so much versus having your own child, but just kind of your thoughts on adopting because um, we made friends with a girl named Tiffany um, over the summer in New York, and she was adopted. And I'd never really gotten to know somebody that was adopted, and it just seemed really, really cool. And it actually got Dave and I just thinking about it. And um, just because we won't, we don't feel like we'll financially be ready for a child for a while. And we often say that it would sure be nice to skip the first <laughs> few couple years. Um, just because, anyways, yeah, whatever, but it just got us interested in adopting possibly down the road, just got us thinking about it, so I was just kind of curious about what everybody else's thoughts on it is, are, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time speaking, 